Hi friends, what's up? This is our K-Phone 360 Reader. It's time to learn how to use focus filters to hide content in iOS 16 on iPhone and iPad. With focus filters, you can customize how apps and your iPhone behave when a focus profile is active. Hence, you can fully customize your favorite apps to hide certain content when a focus profile is enabled. For instance, you can show only the selected mail accounts when a specific focus profile is active to keep a track of the most important emails and avoid the less urgent ones. With that said, it's time to learn how to use focus filters to hide content in iOS 16 or iPadOS 16 on iPhone and iPad the right way. Before getting started, make sure you have subscribed our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon so that you won't miss any update from 360 Reader. First off, I would recommend you to take a look at the things that iOS 16 allows you to filter out for a better understanding. Calendar filter. With a calendar focus filter, you can link a calendar with a focus profile to keep a track of the desired events when the focus mode is turned on. Mail filter. You can link any of your mail accounts with a focus profile. Once linked, the mail app will only display the accounts you have selected. Messages filter. You can set the messages app to hide all the messages except for the messages from the people list which you made for the specific focus profile. Safari filter. You can customize Safari to only display a specific tab group when a focus profile is active. Dark mode filter. You can choose to keep dark mode or light mode enabled for a specific focus profile. Low power mode filter. You can have the low power mode enabled disabled for a particular focus profile. To get going, launch the settings app on your iPhone or iPad and then tap on focus. After that, select the focus profile that you would like to add focus filters to. Next, scroll down to the focus filter section and then tap on add filter. Next up, choose an app filter that you want to set up. You have multiple options to choose from like calendar, mail, messages, safari and more. In this guide, I am going to choose a calendar filter. Now you have to tap on choose to select the calendar you want to show and when. Up next, you have to tap on the iCloud and other calendars that you want to use and then tap on done at the upper right corner of the screen. After that, tap on add to include the filter in your focus profile. That's pretty much done. From now onwards, your selected filter will become active whenever you enable this focus profile. It's worth pointing out that Apple has already introduced a focus filter API for developers to allow third-party apps to take advantage of the focus filters. For example, you can use focus filters to customize how Instagram works and behaves when the focus mode is enabled. Thus, it's just a matter of time before the focus filters will be available to use in several apps. That said, what do you have to say about focus filters? Make sure to let me know your thoughts in the comments and I'll see you in the next video with more such handy iPhone and iPad. Till then, stay safe and have a great time. Bye-bye.